I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play A-Train, All Aboard Tourism. As it says up there, it is a city management simulation, and that's a close enough approximation of its description. I'm going to start real quick, because if I don't, it just loops back to the opening cutscene. So, uh, the game is sort of a cross between a city builder and a transportation network simulator. Um, it's not quite like any other city builder because unlike, say, SimCity or City Skylines, you don't actually build the city. Rather, you are responsible for building the infrastructure and the transport network, and then the game sort of builds up the cities around that, uh, depending on how well you do. Um, <clears throat> we'll just go ahead and get started here. Uh, you have a bunch of scenarios, uh, two of which are the tutorial scenarios, and they are quite lengthy. I'm only going to play the first two, uh, primarily because they're lacking. Uh, they go over a lot of stuff, but they don't go over quite enough, and so I feel like maybe that kind of information might be useful to anyone watching these videos trying to understand how to play the game. Um, however, after those, I do intend to just play on a, a fresh map rather than do scenarios, and so if you hit the construction button here, you can generate a map, and you can just turn it into a blank map, and that's what I am going to try and do, and I say try because it's actually very difficult to do that. Unlike a city builder game like SimCity, uh, you don't just put down a house and people suddenly live in your city, rather you have to entice them to come to your city, uh, and so you have to bring them in via a transport network. It's it's uh, interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, first, before before that, I want to point out you can create a business card here and create a nice little customized business card. Um, I guess that's just a fun little touch. Anyway, all aboard tourism. The lacking state of public transportation is making it difficult to bring in tourists. Your goal is to develop the railroad while retaining the region's natural beauty. Yes. All right. Um, so we got that selected. Let's start. We go all the way back to the year 1992. Uh, the A-Train series is a Japanese-developed series, and it goes back quite a ways. Uh, it's as old as SimCity is, in fact. Uh, Will Wright actually had Maxis buy the license for A-Train so they could sell it in America, and it didn't do too well, but he liked the isometric graphic style so much that he used it in SimCity 2000, so there's a bit of a legacy there. Anyway, Secretary... Ayaka Matsushima. Oh, uh, excuse me, are you Mr. Gaz? I'm not going to read everything because there is a ton of unnecessary dialogue in these tutorials. But we'll just start with opening here. Uh, it's lovely to meet you. Congratulations on your promotion to company president. My name is Ayaka Matsushima. I'm going to be your personal secretary. I'm looking forward to working with you. I must confess I was a little surprised to see you here so early. You're already making a good impression as company president. I'll be sure to arrive a lot earlier next time myself. Oh, by the way, this is your first time in this town, isn't it? It's a lovely place. The southern edge of town is bordered by the sea. I've actually scheduled you in to inspect the town today. Let me begin by showing you our railroad. Here it is. This is the railroad our company runs. It connects Enamori Station to the neighboring town and is used by quite a large number of passengers. Next, I'll be showing you another prominent location in this town. This is our town's reconstructed castle, Nagashirojo. It is a bit of a tourist attraction and is much loved by the people. Do you like castles? It seems that people from outside the region are interested in visiting this castle as well. It's also an important structure for our company as we're planning to extend the railroad here in order to create a tourist route. But I'll explain that plan in more detail later. For now, why don't you have a look around the town? Okay, so we're gonna go through a lot of that. Just basically telling you the controls. Uh, it is drag and drop kind of controls. Um, this game apparently was a Switch game, I think, and then it got ported to PC. So the control scheme is uh, clunky. But honestly, that's sort of par for the course for a lot of Japanese games. Anyway, good work out there today. What do you think of the town? It's a nice place to live, but we're hoping to make it even better for the people here. Your work as company president will play a big part in shaping this town. It's my hope we can work together to make the people of this town happy. Now, before we get to work, I have a matter of great importance to discuss with you. We've received some funding from the local government under the agreement the two conditions are met. The first is that we launch a railroad tourist route and make it so that at least 200,000 tourists visit our town. The second is that we increase the town's population. We have agreed to increase the population by at least 20,000. If you cannot fulfill this agreement, you will be removed from your role as company president. I realize this is quite a heavy announcement, but you don't need to worry too much. Our heads of sales and head of accounting are both very skilled and will work hard to support you. I'll be sure to introduce you to them later. For now, though, we should probably get to work. Why don't we start with train operations? Okay, so we got a bunch of money here, and uh, it's 
literally tried tr to translate the kanji characters into billion, million, and thousand, but you'll notice there is 70,000 here. And that is because uh, Japanese numerals actually use four decimal places instead of three. So it's uh, an approximation of 26 billion yen here that we've got. Anyway, we'll just go through this. Uh, we're going to have trains that we can put down. And uh, we don't need to go through Go Issei's stuff here because it is literally all his dialogue is saying, hey, we've got trains. We have one you can place down. Oi, oi, oi. I'm, I'm absolutely serious. Completing this tutorial the first time took me like four hours. Um, anyway, so you've got trains. Yes, you can purchase new trains. You can develop new trains. Uh, with the little minus sign shows that we have one that is not placed. So click on it and we can place it. And you have to hold it down. This is this is a very confusing thing. It got me the first time I played this. You have to hold down. I do not know what it's like with the uh, controller, but with the mouse, uh, you have to hold down. And then it gets placed, and then you confirm it. Uh, the controller, by the way, I tried playing with an Xbox controller. Didn't work. So I don't know if that's a bug thing or what, but uh, yeah. Uh, it, the controls are terrible for this game. Anyway, confirm. And uh, I, I didn't mention there, you might have seen, um, when I placed it down, there was an arrow uh, pointing in the direction it is going to go. You can actually change that when you place it down, and it can be important sometimes uh, as well. Anyway, uh, let's get out of here. And there we go. The train is running. Okay, so we're going to be told nothing. This is just introducing Junji here. That, that, that's literally it. Like, some of these characters pop up and just say, Oh, hey, I exist. Uh, we'll talk later. Very, very unnecessary dialogue in this game. Anyway, yes, camera control. So, we can do isometric mode, we can do free mode with a free camera. And, if we pause the game... We can... Whoop, we can select our train. And we can come into first person mode. La -da -la -da -la -da -la. So you can do this, you can follow from the train window, you can look at it from the outside, you can do some action shots here. Which uh, automatically happen as the train moves around and, and whatnot, but anyway, let's get out of that. Okay, well now what? Uh, da -da -da. Okay, yeah, so a lot of the menu interface unlocks through the tutorial, kind of annoying. This is how you control the speed of the game. The master controller here, you can speed it all the way up and pause it. And there's an even faster hyperspeed mode that uh, has not unlocked yet. It is very necessary to complete this mission because, oh my god, it takes forever. So uh, we'll ding the bell, we'll bring her back, and we'll continue on with the tutorial. Okay. Reports gives you information on how far you are to the goals. You also have a conversation log, just in case you feel like going back through the history of the dialogue. Here's uh, a counter accounting uh, Koshiki, who's literally just popping up to say, hello, I exist. Um, so yeah, the, the, the problem I have with this conversation log thing is that there's just so much filler dialogue. Why would you ever want to go back if you're trying to find something useful? Anyway, let's go ahead and keep it going at 1, because we do need to uh, work towards those goals. Okay, explain the plan we have for a new train line. So, system menu is available. Okay, this is just how to save your crap and autosave and whatnot. Da -da -da. Oh, your graphic and sound settings, of course. Uh, that is something, actually, I would like to point this out. This is something that also caught me off guard. You come in here looking for a bunch of settings, and it's like, where the hell is this thing? And then there's this blue bar down here where extra stuff is. Again, typical screwy Japanese interface design. Okay, now, new train line. We're connecting stations here. Select your rail, lay your rail. This brings you into isometric mode. Apparently this is the only way you can do anything here. Okay, so basically what she's saying here, simple controls for laying rail, but it matters where you lay them. Um, if you try and plow through uh, houses and fields and stuff like that, uh, you have to pay for it. It's very expensive, so try and build on cleared land. Now, same thing, hold down to uh, place this, and then you have to move the camera to stretch it out, which is... Oh, this game, 
anyway, this game does get good, trust me, stick with me. Okay, so, and then you also have to select a point um, to, to finish it. Also is going to be very important later as we get down through here, because taking corners is sometimes a little finicky. Anyway, we're going to confirm, and call that good. Now, uh, before she continues talking here, I would like to point out, now that we've laid that line, your trains, unless you tell them otherwise, will continue on that track. So, um, not right now, but later, we will go back into our train and tell them at some point, hey, we don't want you to go this far, or uh, turn around, or whatever. But it's something that the tutorial does not tell you about, and you have to figure out on your own. Anyway, Mr. Goshiki is here to tell me about, well, basically terminology that's a really really long way of telling me, here's your expenses, here's your sales, here's your profit. Okay, sales report, agenda. Okay, yeah, so she's giving me whatever time I need uh, until she's going to talk to me again, which, as we can see down here, looking at the calendar, is going to be tomorrow. This little green thing here, this green person, uh, indicates that you have a dialogue event scheduled for that next day. And yes, that is a thing. Um, it will show up here. You'll see little uh, books and whatnot for actual like plot points. <laughs> there, there, there's actually plot dialogue that pops up uh, on certain days, and you can anticipate that. She'll talk about the clock here later. Why don't we just go ahead and, instead, instead of waiting, let's just get this going here. Uh, Miss Satoichi, Satoichi and Miss Dogo. Right. So, Miss Dogo's from the planning division, Miss Satoichi's from the tourist department. And they just basically are another menu. Okay. We're gonna skip through all this crap, too. Because in the first tutorial, you don't learn a whole lot of important stuff, just where things are. Again, they don't go into a lot of depth. So, got tourist information here. This now tells us how our tourist trends are growing. It's telling us how much potential money we can have. It's telling us how appealing the town is for tourists. But most importantly, it will tell us as we connect to various towns and edges of maps and whatnot, uh, who we are connected to. Um, right, so what she's saying here is that our only tourist attraction is the castle. And uh, she, she will be responsible for publicizing about it as we connect to other towns. But this is sort of a good way to come in and see how close we're getting to uh, tourism uh, goals and uh, how we can possibly bring better people in. The more important menus, again, have not unlocked yet. Tourist route, we can see uh, the lines Right now we have no connections, but uh, Hasuoka is our northern neighbor here, so we have a few stops, but we're not quite connected there yet. Industry statistics. This one's a little bit more in-depth. Here we publish the results of our inquiries into populations and industries. Our finding includes matters such as the designation of zones following industrial development and the change from a village to a town after a population increase. By the way, railroads are permitted to be built in all zone types, so you won't have any trouble there. I'll be sure to report any zoning changes to you, so please check your notices from time to time. Okay. La 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 la. Yeah, so the maps are uh, broken up into these districts or wards or whatever it is, and uh, it kind of shows you what is in each of them. Now, for these tutorials, that's obviously not important, but where it comes into play later is as we build the town. So I said that you, as a player, don't get to build up the towns. That is partially true. Uh, we have the ability to create subsidies. Uh, we can actually buy businesses, commercial uh, districts, uh, even apartments and hotels, anything uh, like that, that we will own as part of the business. And this is mirroring uh, how Japanese railroad monopolies work. It's pretty interesting, actually. Um, so basically, I guess we would use this to, uh, you know, find out what is lacking, uh, what can be improved upon. Obviously, this town has no tourism, no public buildings, no nothing, but this is where our manufacturing center is. This comes into play later in the tutorial. Okay. So, now she wants us to build a new station. And it's pretty much just like laying rail. 
we're going to construct a new station. And here we're told different types of stations we can have by Issei. Just gonna skip on through that. He recommends ground level station 2. Just because, I guess. Uh, it does change size. Like if we look at 1, it's a very small size. And uh, 2 is obviously bigger. 3, 4, 5. He's in the way. Would you get out of here? Um, the the, the, the uh, types of uh, people and or freight that can come through here are designated here. Um, obviously here we've got overtrack stations, um, elevated stations, station buildings, freight stations, which obviously have no passengers, and uh, other stuff. Uh, right now just a depot, but I, I think there's also a, like an empty track, a rural track. There's a whole bunch of things that get researched or unlocked. Um, Right now we're not going to worry about it, we're just going to build a basic station that allows for passengers and freight. Uh, it is built on the ground level, so it's going to take some land. Um, one thing to note about placing this, and I'm not sure if he talks about it later, is that the reason you might want uh, this kind of station versus an overtrack station is that uh, the city will be influenced to develop where your station is pointing. So if you're using this one, your town is going to develop in this direction, whereas if you're using Overtrack, it will develop on both sides. But uh, both of these stations have pros and cons. This one, for example, you can't expand easily because you have to expand the station since it's sort of bordering how many tracks you have, whereas this one, you can just keep adding tracks because they go in that direction. Anyway, we need to add this thing here. So we're going to put it in the designated area by holding down. And so this shows a few things here. Uh, it shows the area where it will service, and that's uh, pretty important. Important also is that it covers this. This is a freight uh, depot, warehouse, lot, whatever. It's where freight will be stored. Uh, in particular, uh, manufactured goods, which is what this town up here produces, as you can see right here. Uh, that comes into play later though. Right now, we're going to rotate it, and we'll rotate it so it's actually facing down this way, so it starts developing out. Uh, and then I'm going to line this up. So if you if you hold down on it again, you can drag it around. And I think, you know what? No, I'm actually going to have it go that way. It'll be easier to line up here. So. I'm going to bring it in. So all this cleared land um, is land that belongs to our company. Later we'll get into that because the tutorial does, but uh, we want to be building on stuff we already own. We can put this anywhere along here, but then we have to pay for the land we are also developing on. Um, also, we want two platforms, because this, this is what he recommends, two platforms and at least three lengths of track. The length of track is how many cars that station can service. So, uh, now that I've done that, I will try to bring it back. There we go. Fit it in there. Okay. We're good to go. Confirm. And continue on with the tutorial. Okay. There you go. Okay. How's the station coming along? Once construction's underway, it'll take a bit of time for the station to be completed. Okay, be sure to check the calendar on screen as the scheduled construction completion date will be marked with a helmet symbol. While we wait, why don't you go ahead and connect to Moto Station with the new station? Okay. Da 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 da. Okay, yeah. So, this is where it's going to get a little bit finicky. I'm going to connect this outside track first. Eventually, we will want all of those. And then... There we go. Got it lined up. And I'm going to go ahead and just put another point in there so it pins it down, because otherwise moving around gets really funky. There we go. Now it's connected. Confirm. And, uh, yeah, so we would wait until tomorrow. She's gonna tell me, I think, how to speed up time next. Have you opened up service to Nagashiro Joe yet? Once you have, tourists will be able to transfer at Enemori Station and the route to the northern town will be complete. However, it will be some time before the tourist route is operational. It takes time like this when, when the function to speed up, in times like this, Jesus Christ, uh, to speed up time 
beyond maximum speed, we have the master controller. Okay. La, 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 la. Right. So, what's going to happen here is I can push this, and then we'll see this little stopwatch. I can hit that stopwatch, and I can set it to run uh, forever, or when I want it to stop, which will be the 11th here. Now, I'm going to get out of this real quick, because she wants to talk to me again. Complete the route, this icon will appear on trains. Okay, I think we're skipping ahead just a little bit here. It indicates that tourists are going to use our trains to travel around. However, do keep in mind this icon will only be visible when using an isometric camera. Anyway, if we get tourists from out of town to ride on our trains, that'd be a huge success. So for that to happen, we're going to need to complete construction of all stations on the route. It'll take time, we'll just have to be patient. Okay, um, she's saying we should report to her, but she's going to come in and say, hey, uh, your thing needs to be done before I'll talk to you. So, we'll just skip through that and come back. Right, so, as I was saying, we're going to fast forward through time, hit the stopwatch, and now I'm going to set it to be uh, the 11th at, let's say, 8 a.m. I think it finishes closer to around 10, but I want to be sure to get it. So, we'll just go and let things happen. And you can see down there in the calendar, we are progressing through the days. And here we go. Our timer stopped. So, let's let this run. It's actually manually speeded up about four times. You can see the train has continued on the track, even though there is nobody here at the station. So, in times like this, um, it might be useful, actually, to show you... Let's click on that train. Okay, that is not what I want. Actually, this is the wrong way to do this. Do not click on the train. Again, interface issues, getting out of that camera mode. Um, interface issues mean that you can control the trains from two things. One is looking uh, at the train itself, and then one is coming into your train's menu. Click on this train, and never mind, we don't have the option yet. Uh, you can basically set the route, the schedules, all that stuff. Uh, where that would be useful, and what I was about to say, if this wasn't stuck in tutorial restrictions, uh, is that because this is not developed, it is not useful to spend time for the trains to come down here. So what we could do is we could basically say, hey, when you get to this station, turn around. Um, but anyway. Just wait until it's done. There we go. 10 a.m. Yep. Open tourist route. Good. So if we went back to her, uh, we would see that now we have Hasuoka open. Uh, so she's confirmed that the railroad is now operating. She'll be able to attract tourists. The tourism department will also work at publicizing your new railroad, which will hopefully help maximize your customers. It appears they're also close to meeting the agreement number regarding the number of tourists who visit town. Not quite, but anyway. It looks like we in the tourism department are going to be very busy for a while. Yeah, hopefully. So, population trend. A bit. Tourists have not, obviously, because we haven't been bringing in a lot of tourists. We have had no reason for them to. Except now we can connect to this, and let me pause. If I do the hold down thing on this, uh, can I get out of? Hmm. Nope, I can't select that building. Can't select any of these buildings. I guess not yet then, huh? Um, if you if you select the buildings, they give you very minimal information. Uh, one of which is desirability for tourists and or visitors. We would see that this castle uh, has a big pull for that, and so we would know that people are coming to the castle. Anyway, continue on. Mr. Goshiki wants to talk about company land. Okay, I heard we pulled off that tourist route. Nice work. I'd like to talk about company-owned land. Remember now that when you build that station near Nagashirojo, we already had a plot of land prepared. Well, it's because it was land the company already owned. Yeah, okay. So he's going to tell me, hey, you've got too much land right now, why don't you get rid of some of it? Do that. Not too much talking. I'm absolutely serious. There is so much unnecessary dialogue. Okay, so in this one, you hold down, and then you drag. And you can select a bunch of land. We'll get rid of that land. Uh, you know what? I don't think we need this land either. I will save this. I... No, no, I won't, in fact. Shoot. Oh my god. 
there. Um, I was going to keep it for possible expansion, but I don't think we need to do that for this. Uh, also, it's a good idea to keep like some of these material collectors uh, nearby for transport, but since we already have four here that are already in range, we don't need to do that. So confirm that, and as you can see on the, uh, the platform here, we've already got some people hanging out. So we should start making money from this line now, hopefully. And begin. Okay. So we're just waiting on tomorrow, but again, we'll just go ahead and skip forward. Karuizama here. Okay. Our town's steadily attracting more and more tourists. At this rate, I'm sure we'll make our target to 200,000 tourists someday. But I have an idea to speed things up. But why don't we extend the railroad down to the south, the town to the south? You mean to Kamita? Yeah, if we connect our railroad to Kamita, we can expect to receive a lot more tourists. I really think it would help. To get that agreed upon amount of 200,000 tourists a lot faster. He is right. I also recommend building stations around Nabusu. It's on the way to Kamita, and that area is thriving right now. Joining Kamita to our railroad would make transport more convenient, and we'd be sure to see an increase in the number of passengers we get as well. I see. We could extend the railroad to Kamita so that it passes through the town laterally. That's the idea. It would increase the value of our railroad, and we could expect the area around the station to develop more. It would also bring us closer to fulfilling our agreement, which is to bring the population to 20,000. One of the standard ways to increase the town's population is to connect its railroad to places that are already booming. That's what this plan aims to do, so I hope you'll take my idea under advisement. Yes, so... Uh, before we continue on, we're now getting into the part of the game where we are going to be bombarded with tips and tricks and all that stuff well before we are even able to do anything about it. So, now that we've got a pause here, I'm going to do what he recommends and extend the line. Whilst trying to avoid, as much as I can, taking out land. Uh, I think that's actually too far. Let's undo that. Shoot. Because you actually need to give yourself just a little bit of room to make a turn. That actually... Okay, so it looks like we are actually going to have to take... God. We are actually going to have to take a little bit of land to make this work here. But we'll put that down. Now we're on the line. No, shoot. I went to... to okay, yeah. So, actually, let's see. Let's get ourselves to right about there. Take another one here. Well, hmm. I think we're going to have to cut a corner right about there. It's a really ugly corner. You know, I might have actually been able to extend that. Let's let's try and extend it one more. Okay, that's a little bit better. There we go. Now we can extend it all the way down to, say, right about there. And we'll try building on the beach. To right about there. And then come to here. We need to leave a little bit of a gap so I can place a station. Okay, now if we did this right, once I say confirm, we'll also be asked if we want to connect to the neighboring town, which we do, because that is how we're going to pull in all our tourists. So now that that's done, we need to place down some stations. Um, okay, so we want one, I don't know, probably right about there. Let's grab that. We'll grab... Um, Oh, sorry, we need to construct a new one. We'll do the same thing. Level 2 ground station, why not? And we can spin it round. Let's see. I'm going to increase its size a little bit later, so let's put it right here, why don't we? Give it two platforms and five length. We've got tons of money right now, so it's fine to spend it. Um, 
make all that good. It's going to take a while to build. So in the meantime, I'm going to come down... Oh, shoot. I guess I could have just stayed there. And come down here and do the same thing. Now, I want to make sure it's going to be within the radius of this. Uh, having construction materials, and I think he talks about it later, helps with the building uh, speed. Okay, I think we're, we're going to have to have another line come in here eventually, I think. Um, we'll put this down right now. Uh, length of five. Actually, let me let me pull this over just a little bit so I have more room here. Because when I build a second rail line, I'm going to want the space. Uh, I won't build the platform now, just to save a little bit of money. Ah, yeah, screw it. We don't need to save money. Um, you can come in and edit these later. So you can upgrade them, renovate them, add tracks, uh, change the, the station you've got and all that. So it doesn't really matter if you just use the basics, but we're going to do it now anyway, so we got to wait for him to build. We may as well just do that now. Okay. Oh my god. There. All menus. If you, if you hold down on the back button long enough, it'll eventually get you out of all menus. Alright. So we've got our track going all the way. As we can see here, we got to wait until the 21st until one gets built. Let's see now what she's going to say. In order to further increase the town's population, we're going to need to continue to expand the railroad. We've talked about connecting the railroad to places that are already thriving, but scoping out a town can be a bit of an ordeal, can't it? Full map is now available. Well, it sounds like this. You should use this. It's a town of the map. A town. It's a town of the map. You can select a spot on the map to jump to the location. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So there's this thing. Um gives us layers so we can see I guess mountain layers we can go down underground for when we get subways and all that stuff um, perhaps most importantly it allows you to move around really fast because otherwise it's quite an ordeal now what uh, Mr. Issei's here okay expanding the railroad will help develop areas around the stations which will definitely lead to an increase in population if we're going to expand the railroad we're going to need to re-examine the train's operating schedules here we go okay the more complex the trail line the more detailed crap you gotta do okay so operating schedule here we can set when it runs what time it runs um, setting the different tracks this is an annoying part. If we have a, a split in the track, a fork in the, tr the track, we can only set it once. The trains are not smart enough to know whether to use one or the other. So, like, if you've got two trains waiting for each other in the station, uh, they won't know to cross tracks to get into the other slide. It's really, really bad. Um, anyway, yeah, so... Here he gives a, a few tips on uh, some basic layouts for, for train routes. Just keep going here yeah so your basic back and forth track uh, your looping track which allows you to basically just run trains constantly so they don't have to wait for each other and then uh, looping through cities and stations if you can help it anyway yeah so basically if this ever happens if a train is blocked by another train uh, in this situation this one will wait for this one to move but if they're blocked like this you have to remove the train completely and start over it's really annoying um, okay, so where are we? Um, suburban train. So, operating schedule, it runs at all times of the day forever. If we look at the one that was already placed, though, and this is the one that's bringing tourists from out of town to just this station, because obviously the rail isn't all the way done, we look at its operating schedule, we see that it runs from 6 to about 10 at night. This, I guess, is sort of the default, and uh, the game mentions that at night you're not going to have a lot of passengers, so it doesn't make sense to run your trains, because then you just have empty trains, you know, building up operating costs. So what we're going to do here, I don't know if I have the ability yet. I don't. Uh, you can copy a schedule. Yeah, it's not here. You can copy a schedule of one train to another train without having to do it manually, but it has not unlocked yet, so... We're going to go into the route. Um, I do not want this to continue down. As you can see, it is connected to everything right now. I do not want that. So what I'm going to have it do, actually, is turn around once it gets to here. We're going to create a new train for the southern route. 
Um, and then we got to go into hours, and I want it to be from 6 to 10 o'clock. And okay. So, let's allow that to move there. And let's see, I'm also going to get a new train purchase, suburban train. Ooh, I got a lot of different trains now. A lot, a lot of different trains. We'll just go with the same one we've got for right now, though. And we may as well build it to a for formation length of five, because we'll need it. Uh, we're going to confirm, and then we're going to move down here, and I am going to place this here, and I want to change direction, because right now it's empty, and these train stations are also empty, uh, because they haven't been built yet. So I want this to go out of town to grab people, but then we're going to change its operating schedule, so its route... It's going to come here, let's go up here, and I want it to turn around here at Nagashirojo as well. Um, we're going to have to modify this rail line just a little bit. And also it's got to have the same operating hours. Alright, there we go. So for right now, all it's going to be doing is bringing people from out of town here, from Kamita, all the way up to the castle, but at least it'll be generating revenue at the moment. So that will be a plus. Uh, however, let us come to here and go back into rails, and I'm going to lay down a little bit of a line here. Oh my god, would you? There we go. And I want it to connect like that. There we go, confirm. And then I gotta go back into this train, and I gotta select this train, and operating schedule, route, and we're gonna come down here, and instead of going straight into this one, we're gonna have it diverge and go to the off track. That way, these trains will not be waiting for each other sitting there in the track. Um, okay, we should be good now. We should be good now. Let's see. So, we're going to be talked to tomorrow, but we may as well talk now. Sorry to barge in, I just remembered a very important aspect of the operating schedule. There may come a time when you want to run multiple trains on the same operating route with the same operating hours. Oh, great. So if I just wait a little bit, I could have saved myself some work there. Basically, all you're saying is, yeah, you can copy. Copy and paste. Okay, Karui is always got a new thing here. When you build a new station and more people start using the railroad, you can expect all kinds of buildings to start popping up around the station. Well, the construction site for those buildings tend to use a lot of materials. I propose we transport these construction materials and sell them to the construction site. Construction materials are made at material factories, but the ones stored here were purchased by our company. We can transport them by loading them onto a freight train. We'll also need to prepare a material storehouse in the vicinity in order to unload the materials from the freight train. Materials placed in a material storehouse will be sold to and used by nearby construction sites. There are two benefits to selling materials like this. First and foremost, we can expect to make a significant profit. Secondly, this will speed up construction, allowing buildings to be built more quickly. Even if we don't sell them the materials, the contractors will get what they need somewhere else, and the building will be built in time. However, we can reduce construction time by transporting materials to them ourselves using the railroad. The sooner construction is completed, the faster the surrounding area will develop. Now, there are a few things I want to tell you about sales, sales of materials. <sighs> Alright. So, basically, blah blah blah, this is a storage area. You have a certain storage uh, radi or, uh, radius uh, to connect to the storage. And, uh, yeah. Basically, just way too much telling me <laughs> how much money you're spending, how much money you're making. But, uh, one thing he doesn't mention that seems to be a thing is that the town will also use construction materials to build and expand their houses. So it is useful. Let's go into trains real quick, purchase a new one, and I do have an electric locomotive. Excellent. So you see here, if I click on suburban train or the commuter train, I can only change the length. These are passenger trains. I think even that one, yeah. The electric lo locomotive now, you'll see I can select materials, freight cars, or passenger cars, so I can have a mixed train car. And this is something I will want. Um, but now I'm going to have to set up probably a separate line. 
So let's uh, let this game run for just a little bit, because I need to think here. So if I have another line here, the possible problem that this is going to create for me is that uh, you know they'll be on the, lo the line at the same time. So what I could do is I could make the commuter line stop here, have a mixed train going from here to Nagashirojo, because this uh, is a very short line taking passengers and has a, a train uh, or excuse me, a, a materials warehouse already. A um, couple problems with using an electric train, though, that's different than a commuter train. One is that it is directional, meaning that you know the engine is on one side of the train, and that is the side that goes the fastest. It will go both directions, obviously, but it's pushing rather than pulling, which means it's slower in the pushing direction. So that's something to consider. Another thing to consider is that uh, when you've got a suburban train or a commuter train or whatever, the engine is part of the car as well. So I could get five commuter trains here uh, on one station, but if I use an electric train, that's going to take a slot just for the engine. So the train is going to be shorter in the long run. Um, but ultimately I think this is going to be necessary. So. Yeah, I think I'll do it. Now, um, another thing to note, if you want to change the routes of the trains, make sure they are past the stations where you're going to start telling them to turn around, because otherwise it screws things up. Meaning that, if you know, I want this thing to turn around so it doesn't use this track, um, I need this to be on this side of the station before I can do that. Kind of clunky. Okay, so we're going to... Nope, 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 this is not how you do this. This is not how you do this. Um... Go into trains. Go into trains. Select that. Operating schedule. Operating route. All right. So now I need you to actually come back here. And now we got to do a whole thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't know if it's given me the opportunity to renovate this thing yet. Let's see, Inamori Station, Tomoto Station. That's what we want. Remodel. Good. Okay, so we want it to be that one, that one. We just want to add another platform here. Confirm. Okay, so we will add rail. We'll come in with that. Look it up there. Confirm. Okay, we're going to be buying a new train. New train, new train, there we go. Electric locomotive. Uh, we'll want one, two, three, and a materials cart, and confirm. So you'll notice there was a button for bulk. Um, you can buy multiple trains of the same type if you want. I think you get a discount. I probably should have done that since I'm going to need at least one more of these, but right now we will set you down here. Uh, no. Change direction. There we go. We'll have it pull out of the station and then bring it down here, and then it'll just be slower going back. Okay. So confirm that. Get out of there, please. Uh, and then operating schedule. Operating route. We need it to not continue on this on the return, so we need to make sure it's going into the left track there. And then down here, same deal. All right. So, we've also got something else here, which the game doesn't tell me about, which is the freight. So, we are in, uh, here, Tomoto Station. We need to go over to the freight. We need to tell it to pick up freight. And then we need to come over here. And freight, and then back in Nag Nagashirojo, this, we want it to unload. So, uh, we'll see here that it takes 15 seconds to stop. It is entirely possible, or excuse me, 15 minutes. I think 15 minutes translates to 15 seconds in game time. I'm not really sure. But uh, we may want to lengthen it, depending upon how the cars look. Uh, especially for freight. If your freight trains are running around and they've still got freight, you might want to check this and see if they haven't stopped long enough to unload. I think they unload stuff in the order of the train cars. Meaning that right now, the last thing off of this train after 15 minutes of wait time is going to be that freight. So... We'll have to look and see. Um, I'm basically sending this empty... You know what I... Ah, well. 
it'll it'll have to come back. So uh, because it's going to be taking an empty train ride down here and then back, it probably would have been better to have it here so that it takes a few seconds shorter. Uh, operating hours also. Um, yeah, we'll do the same thing. Why not? Okay. I mean, so if we had a dedicated freight train, we'd probably just want that running all the time. Um, but because this also has passengers on it, we'll just kind of stick it to that. All right. So. That should be good to go there. We should maybe let it run. And, uh, yeah, it's probably going to be a while before this actually means anything. And one thing to note as well, if you come into your trains, you can see if any of them are being profitable. Actually, there's, that's right there. So this train is not being profitable yet. In fact, the only train that is being profitable is the one that's bringing in tourists from outside. Uh, we can eventually make this one a little bit more profitable. In fact, why don't we do that right now? Um, let's double down here. Uh, not right now. Not right now. I, I want to have a second track going out here so it's also bringing tourists in, but uh, right now we're not going to worry about that. One thing to pay attention to is that eventually your stations will become full and we'll see a little uh, blue bubble here saying hey there's a, a whole ton of people waiting um, so that's something that uh, we'll have to, to keep in mind because when it's like that we can either increase the number of trains coming in and out or we can increase the train cars or we can increase the train car types um, I don't think we've unlocked uh, research yet, but you can research improvements to trains and all sorts of stuff like that. So let's double time this and continue on with the tutorial, and hopefully I can get the basics out of the way within an hour. Do you have a moment? Mr. Karazawa is here with a proposal regarding future developments. Okay, now that we're working on expanding the railroad, I think our plans are going forward. I've got a few suggestions. We should develop a new train. Okay, now we're going to talk about research. Okay. So research, put in a new plan, we will develop, uh, we could develop subway technology. We're not going to use it in this tutorial, so let's go into train development instead. So here I get to make one. Um, what do we want? Do we want a commuter or do we want suburban? Um, a lot of things to check here. Uh, speed, acceleration, uh, cost, obviously. Um, more important to me is the capacity. So right now, I think we have train type 2? I don't know. I think we want to maybe upgrade to a train type 3. Cost effective wise, I think... Well, actually train type 4. I mean, we may as well go. We can afford it. We can totally afford it in this tutorial series. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll leave the name as is. We'll make it look like that, sure. And body color, yeah, it's fine. There's our new train. It will take 90 days to develop. So, it's gonna be a while. Let's continue on. I need a word. What is it, Mr. Goshiki? Uh, yeah, okay. Basically, basically, here's now our financial reports. And he's gonna give us a lot of information. Just... It's, it's basic stuff. You know, make more money than you lose. <laughs> that's that's it. I don't know why it takes so long to go through the dialogue for it, but it, it does. Karuizawa is here again. Now that our finances are back on track, so to speak, I think we should start considering long-term policies going forward. That's what I'm here to propose to you today. Go on. Passengers can currently transfer to Enomori Station using the side single track line we have here, but this transfer is actually really inefficient. True, it tends to end up getting congested with tourists. Exactly, that brings me to my proposal. Let's change all of our lines to double tracks. All of them? Yeah. I think we should extend the line from Enomori Station to Hasuoka to the north. <sighs> Link it to the line that's already established there and turn it into a double. And if we keep extending to Nagashirojo, we'll get more tourists and increase the population. Wow, that sounds just like what we need. But how do we do that without turning a single track into a double track? Good question. If we just extend the line, we'll end up with two single tracks connected to the neighboring town. But if we demolish one square from the end of the single track train line, we'll be able to realign it with the neighbor town. This will open up options to switch connecting lines. 
From there, just opt to use a double track. I see, so all we need to do is reconnect the end of the train line and then select Switch Connecting Line option. Yep, in fact, I've already gone ahead and acquired the land we'll need to make the switch. Okay. Well, anyway. So what he's talking about there, and from what I've seen, uh, is that it means we could say, rather than a back and forth on a single line like this, we could set it up so that one line goes out and one line comes in. Da, 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 da. Um, so yeah, and we're not going to do any of it, so don't worry about it. Um, but I am going to take some of the advice and make a double line. And the reason for that is just because it's going to be slightly easier to make money, but I also want to start bringing down some of the freight. Um, okay, we are transferring some freight right now, that's good. Uh, I do not, however, want to congest my lines with a freight train. You can see this is going back much slower when it's pushing. Um, what I actually would like to do is have a freight passenger combo that will pull it from here and uh, bring it down to the surrounding towns. So, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to... Uh, train lines, there we go. Lay new train line here. Whoa, no, no, no. No, no, no. What on earth are you doing? Oh my god, this is so finicky. Okay, let's try this a different way. Let's try this a different way. So, it's going to cost me a lot because I'm plowing through fields and taking a lot of land that I don't need to do that with. And also to make this work... Uh, no. No, okay, I can I can do this differently. I was going to say I was going to have to take this train, move it to the other track, because I want this other line here. It'll be easier to just use this. Um, I would otherwise have to demolish this house, which is the, at the end of the track if I wanted to connect it here, and I could still do that. Uh, but I don't think I will. I don't think I'll have to. Oh, boy. Let's pin that one in place. There we go. Yeah, because I could connect another track here. Let's just connect it to here. Alright, now, if I'm correct, I should be able to get it to switch lines. But, again, we have to wait until it goes out of town. Congratulations, we now have a 20 kilometer railroad Okay, stop just for a moment there. Thank you. Let's grab... Let's see, this is the one that goes out of town. I should probably have renamed these so that I would actually know which is which. Operating schedule. Operating route. Good, let's make sure you go into that track. So it is only bringing passengers back and forth here. And now, we will grab ourselves a new train. New electric locomotive. You know what? Can I just copy this? Can I put it down? Hmm. No. That's not what it copies. It's not copying the train, it is copying the inf information of its schedule and whatnot. Uh, and we can change formation. I should probably do that. Okay, this left the station. You cannot change things about a train unless it's already in a station, so we'll have to wait until this comes back, but I would like to expand this to five cars so we bring more people in. Um, anyway, we need to finish this electric locomotive thing here, and I guess unfortunately, this is going to be a... Uh, hmm. Let's undo that, and let's do two material cars since I want it to mostly be... I mean, I think eventually we'll get enough materials that having two cars will be enough. 
The thing is, we're only bringing one car's worth to Nagashirojo, and then I'm going to be taking it out of there with two cars. So... Yeah, let's not do that. Let's just do this for now, until the materials build up, because eventually they will. Eventually we will develop enough that they will pull from that. So let's uh, let's hold off there. Um, and then we can always just redo it later. Um, so... Well, it's going to take forever one way or another. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, I suppose... Well, elevation looks to be flat. If we were going up hills, uh, as opposed to down hills, we would want the train on the side that is going to go up the hill. Um, but that doesn't matter on flat ground, so... Um, sorry? Oh. I always forget. We have to place it. Okay, come here... Yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll have it go in. Confirm that. And then we need to... Okay, I'm going to copy your schedule only to that train, so I don't have to worry about that. We still got to go in here, though, because I need to say how far I want you to go. I want you to turn around here. Also, I want you to turn around here. We don't need to be going all the way down. So, that's taken care of there. And now what? Uh, yes, loading and unloading. So, we'll be loading at Nagashirojo. We'll be going to West Nagashirojo. And unloading. South Nabusu and also unloading. And then once we get to Nagashirojo again, we do nothing. We do nothing with the freight. Uh, yeah, okay. So, it will slowly begin uh, taking freight out and uh, distributing it. Oh, it did. Uh, oh, interesting. Didn't do that before. wonder why. Let's let's watch it when it uh, goes back. Interesting. So why isn't the other one doing that? Because when that train came here, it was pushing. See? Yeah, this one's weird. I wonder why. Maybe because I'm not telling it to to swap? Let's see. Uh, you. Operating schedule. Operating route. Yeah. So let's tell it to turn around. And maybe it'll go faster. Please, please don't. Please get off. Please get off the train. Please get off the train. There we go. Faster. And we have got a lot of freight here. I'm also going to want to eventually take it to the other towns as well, seeing as how they have spots for this, and we'd like them to develop it so that we can get one town at least of 20,000 people. Where am I now? Oh. It's, uh, it's 10 p.m. Everyone shut down for the night. Okay, well, th this is actually an excellent thing. Pause, because now we can come in here. Uh, we'll take this suburban train. We will change your formation. And we will give you five cars. Confirm. I think... Nope, keeps it there too. Perfect. Okay, you. Uh, the other one, you out of towny. You also need to change formation. We need five cars. Thank you. <laughs> and the other one. Uh, are you in town? You are not in town. You are out of town. It is sleeping out of town. Well, shoot. So I'm going to have to pay attention to when that one's in town. Otherwise, I will have a very hard time of uh, getting it to, to be upgraded. Okay, well, uh, it's been an hour, so there's still a, a lot to go over, especially before it, the game just lets me do whatever uh, until I complete the conditions. 
So uh, I'm afraid we're going to have to break this off here and continue next time.